The dodo was a fat, flightless bird native to Mauritius, a small island east of Madagascar. The Dutch first recorded it in 1598, and they last saw it in 1662, before it went extinct. This is one extinction of many caused by humans, but it's remarkably famous and with good reason. The dodo evolved mostly free of predators, which meant it had the evolutionary luxury of giving up flight in exchange for extra fat stores. It didn't need to lay eggs on trees or otherwise hidden from local wildlife, and so it didn't. This meant that the dodo was not even slightly scared of humans when they first showed up. A meaty, flightless bird that was not in the slightest frightened by humans? It's not hard to see where this inevitably went. It was easy meat for sailors who were disgusted by the taste, but ate it anyway. The hunting was extreme and constant. If the sailors weren't hungry, they would keep killing dodos to salt the meat and preserve it for later. But hunting was not the most devastating thing humans cast upon the dodos. The sailors brought with them various other animals, including dogs, cats, pigs, and crab-eating macaques. The new invasive animals would compete with the dodos for local resources, and to some, the dodos were one of the local resources, particularly to the pigs and the macaques. The pigs and macaques would eat the dodos, and there is some evidence that the macaques would eat the unprotected dodo eggs as well. Thanks to all of these factors, the dodo became increasingly rare until its last confirmed sighting in 1662. There are other alleged sightings after that, and it remains likely that the dodo was not truly extinct at that time, but most sources agree that by 1700, it was definitely off the face of the planet. More than 300 years after its extinction, scientists are now wondering whether they could return the dodo. One company, Colossal Biosciences, even claims its efforts to do so are well underway. De-extinction may sound like a far-fetched concept reserved for movies like Jurassic Park, but it is possible. It's far more feasible to recover DNA from a bird that went extinct three centuries ago than from dinosaurs that went extinct 65 million years ago. That idea, in theory, is simple. Find a relatively conserved cell of the extinct species you want to clone and swap its nucleus with that of an egg of a close relative. For the dodo, that close relative is the Nicobar pigeon. This has already been done for one extinct species, the Pyrenean ibex. In all, 285 Pyrenean ibex embryos were made, 54 of which were transferred to goats, which would serve as surrogate mothers. One clone was born alive in 2003, three years after the DNA was taken from the last living ibex, but it died after minutes due to lung problems, likely a result of DNA damage caused by the transfer of the cell nucleus to the egg. This raises a few issues, not only practical. If we couldn't clone an animal after three years of extinction, it will be likely much harder to clone a 300-year-old extinct one, but ethical problems as well. As technology progresses, it is likely, but not guaranteed, that we will gain the ability to bring back the dodo bird. But is it ethical to go ahead with the procedure knowing that most clones are likely to die and that those that don't will be brought to an earth utterly different from the one their ancestors inhabited? Only time will tell. <laughs>